So today we're going to do a setup of the Lynx Dot Helium Hotspot Miner. So stay tuned. We're going to go through the whole setup process. And at the very end, we're going to talk a little bit about antenna upgrades. So stick around. All right, so here we are. We've got our Helium Hotspot from Lynx Dot. Uh, we'll go ahead and crack the box open here and see what we have. Great packaging, by the way. I'll definitely say that. I'm also going to say this is one of the largest miners that I've come across. Uh, you know, you put this in comparison to, to the rack unit. Uh, that's basically less than a quarter of the size of the rack unit from Calchip. So look at that. Sense cap right here. Yeah, look at that. It's about half the it's, sense cap is about half the size. Of, Pretty wild, isn't it? But that's okay. Um, I don't think that's a showstopper in any way. It would, shouldn't deter anybody from this unit because I think, from what I understand, are very, very good units. Okay, it also comes with this quick start guide, uh, which is really nicely put together. We have what all the miners have, which are, is an RPSMA female connection. We have our DC in. We have our power which is right here. Power. And then we comes with this antenna. A 3 dBi antenna, which is pretty amazing. Look at this antenna. It's tiny. It's the smallest antenna that I've seen. It's ironic, isn't it? It's the largest body, but the smallest antenna. Compare that to the rack antenna. That's pretty wild, isn't it? So we're going to go ahead and do a setup. You know, I mean, I think that's that's where we are with this. Uh, so we're going through the setup process for the Lynx Dot unit. Um, I've got it plugged into the Ethernet. I've got the power cord in, and I've got the antenna set up. Basically, I just plugged it all in, and I'm and I'm now I'm going to taking a look at the Lynx Dot uh, uh, documentation on their website. It's pretty interesting because um, one thing that's right off the bat, they talk about why you know like a Q and A um, kind of an FAQ section inside of the website. First question is, why is my hotspot not synced instantly? Well, the way that they responded to that question is, the Lynx Dot has an instant sync feature that pulls a fully synced snapshot every time the hotspot falls behind the blockchain by 50 blocks. This is an automated process and it requires no attention, so you don't need to do anything, obviously. In case where the Explorer or the iOS Android app indicates that your Lynx Dot is still syncing, that would be due to the Explorer not updating this information in real time. So if you see that happening, and we think we see that on a lot of different hotspots, a lot of different manufacturers, that's the case. Allow between 12 and 24 hours for the sync status to update. In many cases, your Lynx Dot will start getting witnesses and issuing challenges only possible when synced before the Explorer even reports the hotspot has synced. So a lot of times it'll start to perform before you even realize that it is performing. This is going to come into play here in a minute where how do I pair the Lynx Dot via Bluetooth? Lynx Dot doesn't have a physical Bluetooth pairing button, so there's no button to push. Bluetooth is normally enabled five minutes after the boot. So basically, within five minutes after this gets plugged in, Bluetooth functionality is enabled and you're able to pair it with your phone. So I'll probably need to do that. Again, I'll probably need to unplug it and then plug it back in for when I want to get this set up. I'm going to open up the Helium app and I'm going to click the little plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Now I'm going to pick the Lynx Dot unit. Next you click scan for my hotspot in the bottom. And then it'll go through and it'll look for your hotspot. Then once it shows up, it'll be the only one. And you'll pick that. And then it'll start to connect. Now it lists all the different Wi-Fi connections that I have access to. But in this case, I'm going to use Ethernet instead. Now, if I were to connect to one of the Wi-Fi it would be quite simple, and I would just pick it, and then I would put the Wi-Fi password in, and it would be connected. You don't necessarily need to go through that. That's very obvious, and it works just like any other device. But in this case, I'm going to use Ethernet instead because I am connected to Ethernet. Also, in this case, I'm not going to set the hotspot location. I'm actually going to come back later and do that. And it's very simple to do. You just simply pair your phone with the hotspot at wherever the location is that you're going to install it. Or you can do it from anywhere and you can just put the address in. Either way will work. But I'm not going to set the location at this time. And I'm going to register the hotspot. Now it's registering the hotspot. 
And you can go to your wallet now. You can actually click go to wallet, fiddle around a little bit with it and do whatever you want. You don't really have to keep it on that one page of the app. You can actually close the app if you want to. Once it starts, it says registering hotspot, it is registering it. As long as it's connected to an internet connection, in this case it is, it's going through an ethernet, it's gonna do registration perfectly fine. And so what you do then is you go ahead and go to wallet and you can check to see if it updates. At some point in time, you'll see that you'll have a new hotspot listed in your app. If you would like to do any kind of antenna upgrades, we can click this link right here. And that's gonna show you all of our color series for the uh, different antenna setups that we have. Uh, we have installation videos for all different types. We have the blue series, the red series, the purple series, a bunch of different series with different types of configuration. So I guess I urge you to go ahead and check out all those different videos. That might even give you some ideas on what you want to do for an antenna upgrade. Uh, because you know maybe this 3 dbi antenna here might not be exactly what you want right you want to be able to get that antenna up above the roof line running some coax um, from mpd digital some M lmr 400 mpd 400 or lmr 240 you know those are all great great coax options that uh, will have really low loss and you'll be able to get that antenna up on the roof going with like a, a 5.8 uh, uh, dbi antenna or you know, one of the six dbi antennas or an eight dbi antenna you know all depending on what kind of like where you are and and what kind of terrain or area that you live will kind of dictate what kind of antenna that you go with so um, if you got something on us uh, please like and subscribe for sure so you can see new content when it gets, when it gets published and uh, we'll see you next time thanks so much i have nothing to hide which is a shame because I love hiding stuff. I love making or buying secret hiding places. So like, I love hollowing out books and you know, people you could say, well, probably you'd hide drugs in there. Well, I don't do drugs, but I do take Flonays for my seasonal allergies. So I put those in this one because that kind of feels like doing drugs. But my whole apartment is filled with stuff like this. Like this totally normal permanent marker. Well, it's actually hollow and inside is a smaller permanent marker. Now this obviously is a copy of Inside Baseball, which is a perfect place I figured out to hide my tiny baseball. This is a normal looking giant bolt that I just keep in my closet. You can screw off the bottom and you can fit a tiny vial in there, which is perfect for, that's my Claritin. That's my other allergy medicine. There is nothing cooler than a wall safe behind framed art. And I'm not allowed to poke holes in my wall cause it's a rental, but this is a picture of a wall safe, which is almost as good since I wouldn't have anything to put in the wall safe anyway. In the fridge, I've got a totally normal looking Dr. Pepper, but of course the top screws off and inside that is my Benadryl or Benny's. These are for my nighttime allergies. Back of my car looks like tire foam. This is where I store my Dramamine which is kind of like I'm allergic to motion too. And this looks like it's just four Shakespeare B-sides together, but if you pull out the bottom, there's actually a can of peaches. But the can of peaches is fake and inside is a rock. But that rock is fake, it's a hide -a key and that key is perfect for opening the dictionary, which is secretly a metal safe. And inside that, I put the Dr. Pepper and the tire foam and the pages from the Shakespeare books and the peaches, which I'm allergic to.